and most respected Mahasangas and their Upasu Kupasike. Today, all of you invited the Mahasangas. At the beginning, you offer dana. The purpose, your relatives passed away. The name Sandana Prema Tilaka is your brother, right? And Sumana Ratna, father, and Piyasena Perana, father, too. So the reason here why you offer the dana for your departed one. So the Buddha said that if relatives, when they will pass away, we have to give only the merit, which will do here. For example, today you do Mahasangadana. Here, Mahasang present here. So at the beginning, you do the Buddha Puja. Buddha Puja means we remember the nine qualities of the Buddha, six qualities of the Dhamma, and nine qualities of the Sangha. When you offer the dana to Mahasangha, it means that not only present Sangha, but also in the first, many Buddhas who appear in the world, they are noble disciple and ordinary disciple. And at present, the Gautama Buddha, his noble disciple and ordinary disciple. In the future, the Adhyamata <coughs> Buddha will be appearing in the world, right? He is noble disciple and ordinary disciple. So today you offer the Mahadana to the Mahasangas, to all Buddhas and all disciples. <coughs> so here, at the beginning, when you invite the monks, this morning monk will come here. So your mind so happy. So that one we call Pubba Chetana. It means Sangha did not come yet, but everyone very happy today Mahasangha will come here and we will offer the dana to them. So that one called Pubba Chetana. When the Mahasangha arrive here and all of you respect very, very respectfully and then you offer the dana, at that time you were so happy, right? That one called Muncha Chetana. So after finishing this ceremony, Mahasangha will return back to the temple, right? At that time also, all of you will be very happy. That one called Apara Chetana. So, if someone offer with three kinds of Chetana intention, the Buddha said that even within seven days, you may get result. If you offer with the purified mind, so today, whatever you did here is a great, great meritorious deeds. So, you departed one, if he or she, they reborn in the lower abodes. When you transfer merit to them, they will accept you merit and they will free from suffering from the four kinds of lower abodes. That is why Buddha said that we can give only the merit to the departed one, nothing else. I can tell you the one small story during the Buddha's time happened when the Buddha practiced meditation. He was thinking that today, who will get the benefit from me? Then he used his psychic power and then he saw that one lady, her name is Kumari. The Buddha saw that if I go this way, Kumari will come that way. Then I will ask four questions from her. Only she can answer the four questions. But normal people will not understand. So first Buddha asks, Oh Kumari, from where are you coming? Then Kumari said that, Bhante, I don't know. And second question, where will you go? Then Kumari said, Bhante, I don't know. And third question, do you really not know? Then Kumari said, I know Bhante. And the last questions, do you really know? Then she said, I don't know. Do you understand these four questions? First, Buddha said, from where are you coming? Everybody know she's coming from the home. And where will you go? Normal people know she'll go to her father. And third question, do you really don't know? And she said, I know. Ordinary people did not understand. Only she understood. And then third one, do you really know? Then she said, I don't know. So here the answer, first question is, from where are you coming? Buddha said to Kumari, hey Kumari, please try to answer these four questions. 
so that all normal people can understand Gautama Buddha. Your question is so deep. First you ask me, from where are you coming? It means that from whose plane, from whose bumi I came, I born in this world. That is why I say I don't know. And second question, when I die here, where I will be born? That's why I said I don't know. And third question, do you really not know? Then I said, Bhante, I know. It means that one time I'll die. That one I know. And the last one, do you really know? Then I said, I don't know. When I will die? Which moment I will die? I don't know. When Kumari explained like that, all normal people understood very clearly. Similarly, you departed one Piya Sena and Sumana Ratna and Chandana who passed away. We don't know where they are born. So Buddha said that only we can transfer the merit. If they really need, they can accept our merit and they can free from lower abodes, the apaya, and they can reborn, whether in the human world or in the heaven. One way you did the great meritorious deeds, it will be beneficial for you. And second, it also will be beneficial for your departed one. That is why we have to practice the dhana. One way we are fulfilling the parami, dhana parami. And second, if we observe the sailor, we can reduce our hatred, we can purify our mind. And third, if we practice meditation, we can reduce our ignorance. So, dear friends in the Dhamma, I will not talk the longer. Whatever you did here, the great meritorious deeds, and on behalf of Mahasanga, we are sharing all merit to your departed one, Sandana, Sumana Ratna, and Piyasena. And by the power of the Buddha, by the power of the Dhamma, and by the power of the Sangha, may all you be free from suffering. May all of you free from samsara. May all of you free from different kinds of difficulty. May all of you free from illness. Please say sadhu sadhu three times. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.